What is up everybody, I'm your Legendary Commander and welcome back to more Baldur's Gate 3. In this video we're going to show you how to decorate your place. Yes, that's right, we're going to decorate our campsite. So, why might you decorate your campsite? Well, mainly for the fun of it, but maybe you just want to be organized and you would like to have some boxes for different storage so you're not sifting through one giant box having everything. Maybe you don't want to run all over camp in order to find those boxes. So let's say you don't want to mess around with the ones in the camp, you like where they are, but you want to get some new ones. How do you get some new ones? Well, it's pretty simple. As you go around in the world and you see boxes and you empty them of their goods, which you actually don't even have to empty them of their goods, you can just right click on them and hit pick up and you can load the box into your inventory. Then you can either carry it back to camp yourself or send it to camp from your inventory. I suggest carrying them back yourself because, well, if you store it all in the same box and you're trying to sort stuff out of that box, well, since they've broken the box currently, well, it's just easier to carry them back than pull everything out to put everything back in, except for the boxes, just so you can walk. Either way, when you pick up boxes, you need to be careful how many you pick up because they can start to weigh you down very quickly. And you'll need to run those to camp and get them out of your inventory so you can run around it normally most of the time. So now we made it to camp, you found a box, and you want to go ahead and you want to move it around. The simplest way to do this now is to right click and drop the box onto the ground. Unfortunately, this is where we come to our first issue. The box isn't facing the right direction and we want it turned. Now until about just five minutes ago, I didn't have this figured out. All you have to do is when the box is in your hand and you're dragging it around, use the scroll wheel on your mouse and it will allow you to rotate that object. This only does it horizontally, and I don't know how to do it vertically yet. You can manipulate some objects by placing them up against rocks, causing them to lean. Then you drop them and then pick them up in that position. As far as dragging it around though, it's pretty simple. As long as you're not overweight, your character can drag it around at least to a certain range before he can't move it any further, whether it be can't see it or it's too far away. And so your character might have to set it down and then pick it back up and drag it some more. But you can continuously drag the box and drag it along the way if you wanted to. Again, this goes with swords, teddy bears, anything of that nature as well. Which means you can stack things on top of those boxes. As you can see here, I have several things stacked on one of the boxes. Kind of like a decoration. I'm not exactly perfect with my decorations. But you know, it makes it feel more like this camp is mine. And I get to keep trophies this way. And at this point now, you can also store things in the boxes, whether it be your sword collector or anything. You just collect all the swords and weapons and you don't let them get back out to the public eye or something. Kind of what I do. Uh, well, now you have a place to store all that stuff. So for all you hoarders out there, now you can hoard just about everything you find. Just be prepared to have a lot of boxes. Now, there is another issue with placing objects. Certain objects can't be picked up. So... A lot of things aren't available to be picked up, however, crates, some objects on tables. You might even be able to move a table around occasionally, and if you can, and pick it up and bring it with you, why not? But there are things that, well, you can't pick up, such as a fire wine barrel or a water barrel. These barrels can be picked up, but they can't be drug around, I should say. If you try and drag them, it immediately wants to pull your sword out, and all you can do is either let your character hit it or drag your mouse off of it so it doesn't hit it. The only thing you can really do with these is if you want to have these around your place is literally the pick up and drop method. Uh, that is the only way you're going to get them in the place you want it, in orientation, and even then this is going to be a very finicky process. So for those with the patience to do this one, that one's up to you, you do as you please. I just know right now I'm thinking about building a castle out of boxes. So guys, that is going to be it for this one, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to tell your friends. But y'all take care. And I'll catch you next time.